Aces of Thunder has got me excited. I'm gonna go through what we know so far and my hopes for Aces of Thunder and some potential issues I see with sectioning off this part of the game to PS VR2 users. Regardless of me being more into the serious kind of sim side, I thought being able to utilize my PlayStation 5 for a flight sim in PS VR2, well, it's got me chomping at the bit. It's not like War Thunder in VR is a new thing because PC users have had this for a while. But at the moment, the whole setup process is, well, a little bit. This is where I think Aces of Thunder can capitalize. PSVR 2 is extremely easy to use, it's pick up and play, much like War Thunder itself. Without deep diving too much, it seems like a match made in heaven. Let's start with the things I like about the teaser. Number one, they use the world's dedicated flight sim game and realistic online battles. I'm hoping this means we're either gonna see an online multiplayer using realistic or simulation style battle. None of the arcade stuff. I'd much rather see more sim than game. Number two, obviously you'll be forced into first person view being that it's VR only. This evens the playing field for those that love first person view. Three, the days of grinding it out for unlocks might be over based on the fact that we'll have to pay for this game and to be honest you know i'm happy with that four visually it looks quite similar to the existing war thunder so i think this will just be a portion of the game ported over i mean this is good five a full roster of world war ii planes and rumors of dlc in the future i think we can all say that we'd be quite happy with that six it looks like it's going to be multiplayer focused and i mean that's why we all play war thunder Right? Now this is what I'm hoping for. Number one, I want it to either be using a realistic or a simulation flying model. Arcade battles need to be left behind for this, for it to be successful in my opinion. Number two, I'd like to see a graphical upgrade based on the fact that this will be tied down to PS5 system. Developers should be able to wrangle quite a lot more out of it. Number three, I'm hoping it won't be the standard price as we get for a normal game. It's quite clear that they're just sectioning off a portion of the game and making it available on PSVR 2. Any more than say 50 US dollars and I think I'll be quite disappointed. Four, I'd love to see DLC for some of the newer jets in the near future. I think this is a given actually and I also think we'll have to pay for these and that's absolutely fine with me. Five, I hope they open up the controller inputs to the currently available joysticks like the Thrustmaster and the Hori, and not leave us with controlling the plane with just the PSVR2 controllers. Number six, I'm hoping for better control options in the future as a whole. I feel that the PlayStation peripheral flight stick market is extremely limited. An official PlayStation flight stick with some sort of like haptic feedback would be amazing, but unfortunately not likely. Seven, I hope they use the rumble function in the PSVR2 headset. This could be absolutely amazing when using the cannons or guns. Eight, running at the full 120 frames a second would be nice. I'd even prefer to take the graphical hit to make sure it gets there. Now, I just wanna talk about some of the potential problems that I see that may come up. The first one <clears throat> is how many people actually own PSVR 2? One of the great things about War Thunder is the cross compatibility. So you're pulling in players from, from everywhere, every platform. Now, is the game on PSVR 2 gonna just be a ghost town? If you're gonna get Aces of Thunder, let me know in the comments. I'm really hoping that there's gonna be enough players online to make this game absolutely epic. Number two, anybody looking to get into it from scratch? Well, there's gonna be a high cost to entry here. Once you add up the PS5, the PSVR2 and the game, you know, it's quite a high barrier to entry. Number three, controlling the plane with the PSVR2 controller. I'm not sure how this is gonna go. I think it might be a bit weird compared to using a joystick. I'd love to be proved wrong though. I think they are planning for you to be able to interact with all the elements in the cockpit, also known as a clickable cockpit. I'd rather use a proper stick though, but I am very interested to see how this pans out. Look, I love 
I absolutely love the idea of this sim. Give me the simplicity and quality that the PlayStation VR 2 can deliver, together with a semi-realistic flying model that enables people with some sort of skill to excel, and couple that with a reasonable price and the promise of future DLC, this game is a complete winner in my book. I just hope, for the life of me I hope, it gets enough players in there, around the clock, for multiplayer battles all over the world.